Hi, John Prendergast, founder of High Impact Academy here. I'm going to talk to you for just a few minutes on why most social media advice is wrong for us. As therapists and coaches, it just doesn't work for us the same way it does for others. And here's why. Let's look at what the common advice given by the experts is. They all agree that Facebook should be posted on two to four times a day and that engagement can drop off if you go more than that. Twitter, they recommend four to seven times a day. Some of them are recommending 20 times a day. LinkedIn, twice a day, Monday to Friday. Upload a video a week to YouTube and write a blog, be consistent with it and develop a following for it. This was the stuff that I was consistently hearing time and again from so many different sources. So who are these sources? I've heard this from UK-based social media consultants. I've heard it from a college lecturer in social media who I hired, brought into my clinic and went through what I was doing on social media with him to see what could he advise, what was I missing out on, what did he think of what I was doing. I've worked with web design and social media companies all around the area when I've been coaching different therapists who are engaging with their help. I've talked to successful social media advisors to larger industries. And I've also taken advice from one more source that isn't usually consulted, which is people who are using social media to sell their products and being successful with it. They might not be seen as social media experts, but they're getting results. I wanted their input too. So the big thing that struck me was all of these different sources were actually giving me that information that we just looked at in terms of what should you be doing? The Facebook, you know, two to four times a day, LinkedIn twice a day, Monday to Friday, four to seven tweets a, week, a day, and all of the rest of it. Here's why it's wrong for us. It doesn't ask any of these questions. What are you trying to accomplish? How can you possibly determine what you need to do in social media if you don't actually know what the objective is, what the goal of your client is? Yet, social media advice is given out as a one-size-fits-all, and that's where it really falls down for us. They don't ask how much time you have for this. Most therapists and coaches are one-person outfits, or maybe a very small group. They don't have 10 people there to handle a social media department. You have to weigh the time you have available to see clients against how much time you're going to be putting out there. What's your budget? If you put five euros behind some posts on Facebook, it will do way more for you than putting a load of extra tweets out and a load of extra information on LinkedIn and the YouTube video. Money makes a big difference and small amounts of money are very powerful compared to the amount of time that you would be putting into it to achieve the same results. You need to educate your clients. This is one of the huge ones that most social media advisors just do not get. We don't sell therapy, we don't sell coaching. We educate our clients as to what we can do for them and if they need us, they hire us. It's very different to selling a bag of coal or a bottle of Coke. It just doesn't work the same way. And is this for a short or a long-term goal? If I suddenly had a fully just empty diary, I would probably be spending 10 euros a day and an hour a day on social media. But as busy as I currently am, where I just need to bring in enough clients to keep myself ticking over and full, I spend less than one euro a day and I spend less than one hour a week on social media advertising my therapy business. It really doesn't add up with the advice that the experts are giving. And that's because they don't understand what it is that we do. So consider what you're doing. My advice is pick one social media outlet, put some time and a little bit of money into that, see how that goes for you, only expand into doing other things if you need to and always go for what's the next one that will do the most for you rather than trying to hit everything at once. It just really doesn't work to use that shotgun-like approach for what we do. Hope you found this interesting. You can find more information on highimpactacademy.com and I really hope you're getting out there and bringing your help to as many people as possible.